everybody and welcome to a new video. Today, I thought it would be fun to try to recreate a Hong Kong style egg tart. Since the Lunar New Year is in a couple of days, I thought it would be... <laughs> I thought it would be fantastic to try something I've never tried making before. And, well, we're gonna try. I'm gonna try to make a Hong Kong style egg tart. And for those of you that don't know, the egg tart is a fusion of Hong Kong style tart and British custard tart from what I remember reading. So when the British came to Hong Kong, they fused with the local cuisine there and came up with this glorious tart that is so beautiful. It is light and crispy in the base. It's soft and oh my, it's just the filling. It's just like custardy and it, and it, yeah, it's so good. I had an authentic Hong Kong egg tart when we were there a couple of years ago and I have never ever forgot about it. I don't think you can. Like it's, it engulfs dreams sometimes and I just really need to try to recreate it. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. Let's start. We are starting with one cup of gluten-free flour. I'm using gluten-free flour. I am gluten intolerant. So that's what we're doing to the gluten-free flour. We're going to add half a cup of fine sugar. I am actually adding caster sugar because I don't have super fine sugar. So I'm just using what I have. Then we're going to add half a cup of cube cold butter. All in little pieces. We're gonna smish, mush, mish, mush, rub that through so that it becomes a clumpy dough flour thing. Next, we're adding two tablespoons of ice cold water as well as one teaspoon of vanilla essence or in my case vanilla extract because listen vanilla essence can become extremely expensive here so i'm using what i have next we're adding in one beaten egg and then we're mixing it all together with a tiny fork tiny fork that whisking together what now I'm going to go ahead and add more flour because my dough is not coming together yet. It's quite wet. I honestly think that is because I am using gluten-free flour because texture-wise, gluten-free flour is much softer and finer than normal flour. So I'm just going to keep adding until I'm able to form a ball. Now that I've formed a ball, many, many, much more teaspoons of flour later we're going to cover it either in cling wrap as the recipe does say but I don't have cling wrap and I'm going to use baking paper put a little elastic -y thing on it and let it sit in the fridge for half an hour all right now we're moving on to a filling I am duplicating the f not I am I am doubling the filling that's what it is I'm doubling the filling because I want to try to make a cheat version of this with like phyllo pastry. So I'm gonna attempt. So that's why I'm gonna double the filling. To a bowl, we are going to add sugar and boiling water. This is going to make our syrup. In a big bowl, I'm gonna add 10 beautiful eggs, evaporated milk in here, and some vanilla essence or extract or essency extract whatever you want mixing that together until it's super fine and smooth then we're going to add our syrup back into the egg give that a good mix and then strain it I am gonna strain it into this purple bowl thing and then back into the big bowl because it's got a spout so it's easier to pour and let this rest for 30 minutes as well in the fridge give them some privacy oh we are back 
30 minutes have gone by. The dough has rested. What's that? Is, is it a dough? Is it? It's a crust. Is it a crusty dough? That has rested. The filling is rested. And we're going to start filling and creating these bad boys. So let's get started. I'm gonna roll out the dough into circles. Oh my word, this dough is so nice. It's so smooth and so beautiful. It is lovely. Yeah, as you see, I'm struggling. I struggled quite a bit to get the right size. I used a cookie cutter and then a mug and then a lint of a wafer tin and it just kept smashing the the liners the cookie liner thing cupcake muffin thing it just just did not work at all and let us watch the distraught amalgamation of what i attempted to do Oh, about half an hour of utter amalgamation and destruction i created about six egg tart ca casing full of things so <clears throat> now we're going to move on to the filo pastry and this did not work either i for so i i assumed i could cut it with a pastry with a, with a cookie cutter that did not work so i just got out the kitchen scissors And that also did not work. This was a bad idea, as you see. I'm gonna just put it back. We're gonna roll it and put it back in the freezer. For another use, another time. And as you see, I had an idea of making one giant egg tart. So I got my spin form pan out, lined it, rolled the thing, didn't stick this was not happening like nothing was happening i don't know i couldn't i can't i eventually pulled out another casserole thing with slightly convex walls i don't know it sticks out to the outside and kind of worked so now we have one giant egg tart but we also filled the other egg tarts 80% fill your dough thing, pancake, cup, mold, things. Put it in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes. Ah, uh, yes. The gloriousness of the monstrosity failure. That is this. Little tarts. Massive tart. Massive tart. Look at this massive tart. Okay, so this is a little cakier than I would like it to have been. It's not crispy or flaky. Oh, but it does cut really nice. Wow. I have an empty pocket here. pocket this is quite nice it is a little soft though like soft but it's quite nice it looks nice it cuts really soft now that we've cut it we've looked at it it's not bad it's not bad it doesn't <laughs> It's not as nice as I wanted to have wanted it to be, but it's the first attempt. We live, we learn, we fail, we try again. And that's the circle of that. So let us give this a taste. Little piece, oh yeah, little piece of the little tart thing.
So the filling tastes really good. It does taste like the one Ken's mom makes. But the pastry or the case, tart case, is light, it's soft, it's sweet, but it's not like flaky, like a authentic one. Mm. Mm. Giant egg tart. It's good. It is egg tart filling. 99% of it is egg tart filling. But I think because of the amount of egg tart filling, it tastes eggy. Compared to the small one, where it doesn't taste eggy. I think it would be nice if it was warm. It's cool down now, so I'm gonna warm it up and then try it again tonight. All right, guys, thank you for watching this video, watching me fail at learning something new and trying to recreate something I've never done before, or never, I've never made before, but had once in my life and i just i just want to thank you for watching and before i let you go i actually just wanted to want to i just before i let you go i actually just want to say something about what's happening in the world right now and we know that lunar new year is coming up and the reason why i'm going to say what i'm going to say is because i have been adopted and married into a Chinese family and I don't think that what is happening in the world right now with people being attacked and beaten up especially because um, there's a holiday literally in a couple of days and the fact that we have COVID that's happening right now you know it's not okay and it's not good to express ourselves in that way where someone else's life is in danger i feel that we need to respect everyone regardless of the situation and regardless of how we feel and yes we are entitled to feel the way that we do we are also entitled to be good human beings and make sure that we are a safe person to be around other people and our actions speak louder than anything so i just want to say i hope you are being safe i hope you're being kind i hope that you take this what i'm saying as a place well i hope that you take it as someone that's speaking out of love especially in a bicultural home and it's not cool what's happening so be safe be a good person and i will see you in the next video Bye. All right, let us give it a taste. What am I doing?